Howdy folks, Josh here with the Weekend Angler, back with another Short Tip Saturday video. And in today's video, we're going to be installing a Garmin transducer to this Motor Guide XI3 trolling motor. So stick around. Alright guys, like I said, we're going to be installing a transducer on this XI3 motor guide trolling motor today. Uh, the one that we're going to be using is actually for a Garmin Striker 4 fish finder. I'm going to be mounting it to the front of the boat. But uh, the problem we run into on these XI3s, XI5s, and the Minn Kota power drives is they utilize this electronic steering box and the entire shaft of the trolling motor slides through that box. So anytime you deploy the motor, or stow it, that trolling motor shaft is sliding through there. That pretty much prevents you from just zip tying the transducer cable to the shaft of the trolling motor and dumping it off in there. We're going to have to do something a little bit different. Now what I've come up with today, I stopped by Harbor Freight and picked up one of these cheap air hoses. I think it was five or six dollars. This is the uh, polyurethane air hose so it's a little bit softer than the plastic ones that you normally see. But it's got a good tight coil and that coil will fit around there so what we're going to do we're going to end up using this air hose kind of like a split wire loom we're going to route our transducer cable through that that's going to allow it to stay in place on the trolling motor shaft and when we stow the motor this is going to compress up and still give us room to uh, make everything happen so let's go ahead, we'll go over to the workbench, we'll get started on this, and then we'll come back, get it installed, and I'll show you how this works. So let's go. Step one, cut and remove the brass fitting from one end of your air hose. Pull out about four coils from the hose. Cut these coils and remove. This will become your split wire loom. Step two, using a utility knife, carefully slit one side of the air hose. This will allow you to insert your transducer cable. Step three, install transducer to trolling motor using manufacturer's instructions. Deploy trolling motor into operational position. Step 4. Carefully slip your transducer cable into the coiled air hose wire loom. Step 5. Wrap coiled air hose around the trolling motor shaft. Step 6. Pull transducer cable upwards to expand the coil. Determine desired location of cable retaining hardware. Step 7. Use a drill and stainless screw to attach the retainer to the boat. Place a zip tie around the transducer cable behind your retainer. Step 8. Deploy and stow the trolling motor to check for proper operation. Make sure your transducer cable is not bound or pinched during stow or deployment. Alright guys, well that's going to pretty much wrap things up. I know I didn't go into much detail on the actual transducer itself and the reason behind that 
is all the different transducers mount a little bit differently. Follow your manufacturer's instructions as far as attaching the transducer itself to your trolling motor. And afterwards, something as simple as a few inches of air hose is all it takes to keep that transducer cable from getting mangled, cut, pinched, and torn up in these electronic steered trolling motors like a Motor Guide XI3, an XI5, or the Minn Kota Power Drive series. Guys, I hope this video has helped you out. If it has, please take a moment, give it that thumbs up button. If you have any questions, leave them down below in the comments section. I'll do my best to get an answer for you. If you're new to this channel, I try to do a short video like this every Saturday. It covers a boating or fishing related topic. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and the little bell. That way you get a notification every time I post a new video or go live. Guys, I'm going to finish installing this fish finder. I've been wanting to get one up here on the front of this boat. So until next time, we'll catch you out on the water.